Bobby Lashley Franklin Roberto Bobby Lashley, born July 16, 1976, is an American professional wrestler and mixed martial artist. He is currently signed to WWE, where he performs on the Raw brand under the ring name Bobby Lashley. During Lashley's first tenure with WWE, he was a two-time ECW World Champion and one-time United States Champion. Lashley is also known for his work in Total Nonstop Action Wrestling slash Impact Wrestling, where he was a four-time TNA slash Impact World Champion, a one-time X Division Champion, and one-time and final King of the Mountain Champion. After returning to WWE in 2018, Lashley would become a two-time Intercontinental Champion. Between WWE and TNA slash Impact, Lashley has won a total of 11 championships, six of those 11 being World Championships, and has also headlined multiple pay-per-view events. Early Life Franklin Roberto Lashley was born the son of a United States Army drill sergeant with three older sisters, the family occasionally moved from one military base to another during his childhood. While his father was stationed at Fort Riley in Kansas, Lashley attended Fort Riley Middle School where he was introduced to amateur wrestling in seventh grade as an off-season alternative to football. He later graduated from Junction City High School, where he continued to wrestle. Lashley attended Missouri Valley College, where in 1996, 1997, and 1998, he was the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics NAA national wrestling champion in the 177 pounds category and in 1999 he graduated with a bachelor's degree in human service agency management and recreation administration as of 2015 lashley had a sister still on active service in the united states air force and he himself followed his father into the army after college where he continued to compete in amateur wrestling in the army's world-class athlete program during three years in the army Lashley won a gold and silver medal in the International Military Sports Council Senior Freestyle Wrestling event. In 2003, Lashley was living and training in Colorado Springs, with the goal of qualifying for Team USA to wrestle at the 2004 Olympic Games. While a witness to a bank robbery, Lashley was forced to dive for cover to avoid gunfire, during which he suffered an injury to his knee that required surgery. This ended his amateur career. Professional Wrestling Career World Wrestling Entertainment Ohio Valley Wrestling, 2004-2005 In November 2004, Lashley signed a developmental contract with World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE. He was assigned to the Development Territory Ohio Valley Wrestling, where he was known as Blaster Lashley, and was a member of the Bolin Services stable along with Mike Mondo and Ken Doan. However, during that time Bolin services began to crumble with Lashley refusing to help Doan win matches, ending with him going by his Bobby Lashley name. Undefeated Streak and United States Champion, 2005-2006 In mid-2005, Lashley appeared at four live events, wrestling in dark matches for both the Raw and SmackDown. Brands On September 23, 2005, he made his televised WWE debut as a face on SmackDown. Under his real name, he was introduced as a three-time national amateur wrestling champion, a four-time All-American, a two-time Armed Forces champion, and a 2002 silver medalist at the Military World Championship. In his first match, he defeated Simon Dean. In his pay-per-view debut at No Mercy, he defeated Dean once again. Lashley went on to defeat numerous superstars both on SmackDown and Raw. On the November 11th episode of SmackDown, Lashley defeated Orlando Jordan in a qualifying match for a place on Team SmackDown at Survivor Series where he was the first to be eliminated. Prior to this elimination Lashley was dominating the Raw superstars, showcasing various power moves and a finisher on Carlito. Yet a choke slam from Kane, who was on the apron, caused Lashley to be eliminated. On January 6, 2006, Lashley became the first SmackDown wrestler to qualify for that year's Royal Rumble. At the Royal Rumble, Lashley was the eighth wrestler to enter the match, 
in which he eliminated Sylvain, but he was then eliminated by the combination of Ross then World Tag Team Champions Big Show and Kane. Following the Royal Rumble, Lashley began a feud with John Bradshaw Layfield leading up to a match at No Way Out, where Lashley suffered his first loss in singles competition, largely due to interference from Finlay. This prompted a feud between Lashley and Finlay, which lasted throughout February and March, and it notably included a lumberjack match, which Finlay won after using a shillelagh. On April 2, after winning a battle royal by Lashley eliminating MNM, Lashley competed at his first WrestleMania, WrestleMania 22, in the Money in the Bank ladder match which was won by Rob Van Dam. Lashley next entered SmackDown, S King of the Ring tournament. He made it to the finals, defeating Mark Henry and Finn Lai in the process. However, in the final round held at Judgment Day he was defeated by Booker T with help from Finn Lai. As Booker was being crowned during his coronation, Lashley speared him. These acts developed into a feud with the newly named King Booker and the other members of his court, Queen Charmel, Finn Lai, and William Regal. During this feud, Lashley won his first professional wrestling championship by defeating JBL for the United States Championship, which he lost to Finn Lai a little less than two months later. Lashley later joined forces with Batista against the court. Shortly after losing the United States title, a physician declared Lashley unable to compete, stating that during an annual exam, Lashley was found to have elevated enzymes of the liver and therefore, would not be cleared to wrestle until further evaluation. Lashley returned a couple of weeks later to the SmackDown roster to continue his feud with the court and went on to earn his first match for the World Heavyweight Championship at No Mercy against King Booker. The bout was subsequently turned into a four-way bout, also including Batista and Booker's ally, Finn Lai. King Booker won the match after pinning Finn Lai. ECW World Champion, 2006-2007 On November 14, 2006, Lashley moved to the ECW brand. He debuted on the brand by making a surprise appearance to sign a contract for the final spot in the Extreme Elimination Chamber match for the ECW World Championship at December to Dismember. At December to Dismember, Lashley was the fifth person released into the match. He eliminated both Test and the Big Show by pinfall after a spear to become the new ECW World Champion, thus making him the first African American in ECW history to win the title. After winning the ECW World Championship, Lashley then had successful title defenses against Big Show, Rob Van Dam, Test, Hardcore Holly, Kenny Dykstra, and Mr. Kennedy. On March 19, 2007, episode of Raw, Lashley officially became the first and only person to ever break Chris Masters' master lock hold, swinging full Nelson, and thus the first and only person to ever defeat the master lock challenge. In early 2007, Lashley was selected by Donald Trump to represent him in a Battle of the Billionaires match, against Vince McMahon's representative, Omega which also featured Vince's longtime adversary Stone Cold Steve Austin as the guest referee. At WrestleMania 23 in a hair vs. hair match, Lashley defeated Omega following a spear and helped Trump and Austin shave McMahon's head afterwards in accordance with the match's losing stipulation, saving Donald Trump's hair from being shaved off. After WrestleMania, Lashley feuded with Mr. McMahon. McMahon booked himself, his son Shane McMahon, and Omega in a three-on-one handicap match against Lashley at Backlash for the ECW World Championship. After two high-impact diving splashes from Omega, Mr. McMahon tagged himself into the match and pinned Lashley to win the title. Lashley legitimately injured his shoulder during the match and after an examination days later, it was revealed he had a damaged rotator cuff but would not need surgery at the time. At Judgment Day, Lashley defeated Vince, Shane, and Omega in a three-on-one handicap rematch after hitting the Dominator on Shane McMahon. Lashley did not win the ECW World Championship, however, because he did not pin Mr. McMahon. As a result, Mr. McMahon retained the title. On June 3 at One Night Stand, Lashley defeated Vince McMahon in a street fight to win the ECW World Championship for a second reign despite interference by Shane McMahon and Omega in the match, 
making Lashley the first man to win the ECW World Championship twice since WWE reactivated the title. WWE Championship Pursuits and Departure, 2007-2008 On the June 11 episode of Raw, Lashley was drafted from the ECW brand to the Raw brand as part of the 2007 WWE draft. As a result of the move, Lashley was stripped of the ECW World Championship by Vince McMahon. He took place in a challenge match against Mick Foley, Randy Orton, King Booker, and John Cena for the WWE Championship at Vengeance, Night of Champions which Cena won to retain the WWE Championship. Lashley became the number one contender for the WWE Championship by winning the Beat the Clock Challenge on July 2nd episode of Raw. On July 22nd at the Great American Bash, he lost to Cena and after the match, they shook hands as a sign of respect. On July 30th episode of Raw, Lashley was defeated by Mr. Kennedy. During the match, Lashley was injured after Mr. Kennedy kicked Lashley's shoulder into the ring steps, allowing Lashley to have time off for surgery for the legitimate injury he suffered at the Great American Bash. After a six-month hiatus, WWE announced that Lashley was released from his WWE contract on February 4, 2008. AAA and Independent Circuit 2008. After Lashley was released from WWE, Lashley returned to wrestling by appearing at AAA's flagship event Triple Mania 16. He, along with Kenzo Suzuki and Electroshock, defeated Chessman, Silver King, and La Parka, JR. Also after his departure from the WWE, Lashley would appear in many independent promotions. Such as World League Wrestling. He also appeared in the Denver-based Fusion Pro Wrestling, teaming with AJ Styles, and Paul Diamond to face the Three Egos. He also wrestled for the Inoki Genome Federation in Japan. Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling, 2009-2010 Lashley made an appearance at Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling's lockdown pay-per-view event on April 19, 2009 and he also later appeared on that week's episode of TNA Impact both times pointing and smiling at the main event Mafia, thus appearing as a heel. On July 15, TNA announced that he had signed an official contract with the company. On July 23, Kurt Angle introduced Lashley as the newest member of the main event Mafia. Lashley entered the ring and hugged Angle while the rest of the Mafia held a beaten and battered Mick Foley upright. Angle then told Lashley to finish off Foley but as Lashley prepared to spear Foley, he turned on Angle and cleared the Mafia from the ring, thus making him a face. On the edition of July 30th of Impact, Lashley made his in-ring debut for TNA in a tag team match as he and Mick Foley wrestled against World Heavyweight Champion Kurt Angle and Legends Champion Kevin Nash, where if Angle or Nash was pinned, whoever defeated them would win their respective title. It started out as a handicap match thanks to the main event Mafia attacking Lashley before the match but eventually Lashley entered the match and helped Mick Foley pin Nash to win the match for his team and become the Legends Champion. On the edition of August 27 of Impact, Jeremy Borish interviewed him and TNA President Dixie Carter in which she said their goal was to make him a world champion in both MMA and TNA. At No Surrender, he defeated Rhino with a knockout punch. After No Surrender, Lashley began a feud with Samoa Joe. After teaming with Team 3D in a winning effort against Rhino and the British Invasion, Doug Williams and Brutus Magnus, on the edition of October 1st of Impact, Joe assaulted Lashley and choked him out with a rear naked choke. The following week, Lashley cost Joe the X Division Championship in a match against Amazing Red. At Bound for Glory, Lashley defeated Joe in a submission match. The following month at Turning Point Lashley's winning streak came to an end when Scott Steiner pinned him in a Falls Count Anywhere match following a shot with a steel pipe. On November 26, Lashley defeated Abyss, Desmond Wolfe, and Robert Roode to win the TNA Championship Series tournament and earn himself a future World Heavyweight title shot. At final resolution, Lashley avenged his prior loss and defeated Steiner in a last man standing match with a pipe shot. On January 4, 2010, 
Monday night edition of Impact, Lashley and Crystal turned heel after requesting their immediate releases from TNA in order for Lashley to fully concentrate on his MMA career. Lashley went on to attack random wrestlers until he was granted what he wanted. On the edition of January 21st of Impact, Lashley suddenly apologized to new executive producer Eric Bischoff for his actions, saying he just wanted to compete, but was nevertheless fired by him the following week. This was Lashley's last TNA appearance until 2014. On February 10, 2010, Lashley's profile was removed from the official TNA website. In an interview with Heavy Sports Lashley claimed that the release was legitimate and had been done in order for him to fully focus on his MMA career. Inoki Genome Federation and returned to the independent circuit, 2010-2014. After Lashley was released from TNA he made one appearance in Antonio Inoki's promotion Inoki Genome Federation, IGF. He defeated another WWE alumni The Predator. He returned to Japan on September 25, 2010 for a tag team match with Bob Sapp against Kendo Kashin and Taman Honda. Bob and Bobby were defeated. Since then Lashay regularly performs in IGF. In 2011 he participated in the IGF Championship Tournament. He won the first round match against Keith Hansen, but was defeated in semifinals by Josh Barnett. On October 20, 2012, Lashley wrestled Jay Bradley and Robert Anthony in a three-way match for the vacant Resistance Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, which was won by Anthony. On June 26, 2013, Lashley signed a two-year contract with IGF, after winning the promotion's general election. On December 27, 2014, Lashley defeated Mex and Tiny Iron to win the IWS Heavyweight Championship. Return to TNA Slash Impact Wrestling The Beatdown Clan, 2014-2015 On March 9, 2014, Lashley returned to TNA at Lockdown in Miami, Florida, answering Ethan Carter III's open challenge after his scheduled opponent Kurt Angle could not wrestle due to an injury. On the March 20 episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley and Carter had a rematch that once again ended in a no contest after an interference by Willow attacking Carter. On the May 15 episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley made his return after running out to the aid of Eric Young, but instead hitting Young with a spear, and allying himself along with MVP and Kenny King, turning heel in the process. At Slammiversary, Lashley defeated Samoa Joe for challenging Eric Young and Austin Aries for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship in a steel cage match, but lost the match. Lashley defeated Eric Young on June 19 episode of Impact Wrestling to win the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, his first title in TNA, making him the first African American in TNA history to win the title as well as his third World Championship reign overall. He defended the title on July 3 against Young. On June 25, aired July 17, Lashley defended the title against Jeff Hardy. At Impact Wrestling, Destination X, on July 31, Lashley defended the title against Austin Aries, who had forfeited the X Division Championship for a title shot. At No Surrender, Lashley successfully retained his title against Bobby Roode. On September 18, 2014, at the tapings for the edition of October 28 of Impact Wrestling, Lashley lost the World Heavyweight Championship to Bobby Roode. Lashley regained the championship on January 7, 2015, thanks to interference from MVP, King, Samoa Joe and Loki, as well as Eric Young turning on Roode. On the January 16 episode of Impact Wrestling, MVP attempted to present Lashley as the centerpiece of his The Beatdown Clan, while referencing the trio of themselves and King as the foundation of the BDC, Lashley refused to become a part of this new group, however, and decided to leave, only to be attacked by the other members, with MVP saying that the title belongs to the BDC, this turned Lashley face in the process. Lashley was a member of Team Angle at Lockdown, defeating the Beatdown Clan. On the March 20 episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley lost the TNA World Heavyweight Championship to Kurt Angle. On the April 3rd episode of Impact Wrestling, 
Lashley received a rematch for the title, but was again defeated by Angle. Championship Reigns, 2015-2018 On the June 3rd episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley defeated Eric Young after Chris Melendez caused a distraction for Young. At Slammiversary, Lashley teaming with Mr. Anderson against Ethan Carter III and Tiras, in a losing effort. On the August 12th episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley defeated Jesse Goddards in a qualifying match for the King of the Mountain match for the vacant TNA King of the Mountain Championship, which was won by PJ Black. On the August 26th episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley competed in four-way match for a shot at King of the Mountain Championship which was won by Bobby Roode. On the September 16th episode of Impact Wrestling, Team TNA, Lashley, Drew Galloway, Davy Richards, Eddie Edwards, and Bram, defeated Team GFW, Jeff Jarrett, Eric Young, Chris Mortitsky, Brian Myers and Sonia E. Dutt, in a lethal lockdown match. On October 4, at Bound for Glory, Lashley unsuccessfully challenged Bobby Roode for the TNA King of the Mountain Championship. During October and November, Lashley began competing in the TNA World Title Series for the new opportunity to win the vacant TNA World Heavyweight Championship, where he ended second in his block to successfully advance to the round of 16 where he defeated Drew Galloway to advance into the quarterfinals where he defeated Mahabali Shara to advance the semifinals, but however Lashley failed to qualify for the finals when he was defeated by the eventual winner Ethan Carter III. On the March 8 episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley defeated Kurt Angle in Angle's farewell match with the company. After the match, he would continue to assault Angle until he was run off by Drew Galloway, Eddie Edwards, and Ethan Carter III, thus turning heel once again. The following week, Lashley attacked Josh Matthews and D'Angelo De Niro. On the March 22nd episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley competed in a gauntlet match to determine the number one contender to the TNA World Heavyweight Championship but he was eliminated by an interfering D'Angelo De Niro. On the April 5th episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley defeated D'Angelo De Niro in a street fight. On the May 3rd episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley won a three-way match against Jeff Hardy and Mike Bennett to get a title shot for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship against Drew Galloway. However, on the May 15th episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley failed to win the title in a lumberjack match, after a disqualification. On June 12 at Slammiversary, Lashley finally defeated Drew Galloway by knockout in a tap-out or knockout match, starting his third reign as the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. At Destination X, Lashley defended his title against Eddie Edwards, the X Division Championship was also on the line. However, the match was a no contest when Mike Bennett and the debuting Moose attacked him. On the July 21st episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley defeated Eddie Edwards in a winner-take-all six sides of steel match to retain the TNA World Heavyweight and win the TNA X Division Championship. On the August 11th episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley defeated James Storm in a title versus title match to retain the TNA World Heavyweight and X Division Championships and win the TNA King of the Mountain Championship after which he was confronted by TNA's newest acquisition Aaron Rex, who observed Lashley from the ramp. On the September 1st episode of Impact Wrestling, he successfully retained his title against Mike Bennett. At Bound for Glory, he retained his title against Ethan Carter III. On October 6, he lost the TNA World Heavyweight Championship to Eddie Edwards. On the October 20th episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley defeated Moose to determine the number one contender to the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, but failed to regain the November 3rd episode of Impact Wrestling. At total non-stop deletion, Lashley got another chance to regain the title, but the match ended in a no contest. On the January 5th episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley failed to regain the championship in a three-way match who also involving Ethan Carter III, after an interference of Davy Richards. At one night only, live, Lashley defeated Richards. The following week, he defeated Ethan Carter III in a last man standing match to become the number one contender to the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. At the Genesis episode special of Impact Wrestling, 
Lashley defeated Edwards in a 30-minute Ironman match to become a four-time TNA World Heavyweight Champion. On the January 12th episode of Impact Wrestling, he successfully retained his title against fellow mixed martial artist Josh Barnett. On the March 2nd episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley lost the TNA World Heavyweight Championship to Alberto L. Patron. However, due to L. Patron's controversial victory, the championship was returned to Lashley, leaving his title reign uninterrupted. In light of TNA's name change, the belt was renamed the Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. On the April 20th episode of Impact Wrestling, Lashley retained his title against James Storm, after Ethan Carter III hit James Storm's head with a beer bottle while the referee was unconscious. At Slam Iversary 15, Lashley lost his title to Alberto L. Patron in a unification match with the GFW Global Championship. Additionally, Lashley competed at Triple Mania XXV in August 2017, teaming with Moose and Jeff Jarrett in the Torneo Triple Mania 25 multi-team tag match. After losing a number one contenders match to Matt Siddle at Destination X and failing to capture the title in a gauntlet for the gold match, Lashley announced that he is, Kfabi, quitting wrestling to focus on his MMA career. This went into a feud against Moose where American top team were involved. At Bound for Glory, Lashley and King M.O. defeated Moose and Stefan Bonner in a Six Sides of Steel cage match. Throughout the first months of 2018, Lashley had small feuds with Ove and Brian Cage, all of which were taped prior to his departure. On January 14, 2018, Lashley was officially released from his Impact Wrestling contract. Return to WWE Various Feuds, 2018-2019 On the April 9, 2018 episode of Raw, the night after WrestleMania 34, Lashley made his return to WWE, where he confronted and attacked Elias. The first month of Lashley's return would see him in a number of tag team matches, teaming with the likes of Braun Strowman, Bobby Roode, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns, all being in victorious efforts against the likes of Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Jinder Mahal, The Miz, Curtis Axel, and Bo Dallas. Lashley would later team with Braun Strowman at Backlash in a victorious effort against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Following Backlash, Lashley would enter into a short feud with Sami Zayn, culminating with Lashley facing Zayn in a victorious effort at Money in the Bank. Lashley would then enter a feud with Roman Reigns. What started off as a war of words on the June 18 episode of Raw would quickly escalate into an all-out brawl on the July 9 episode of Raw, with the entire locker room having to separate the duo. The rivalry centered around the fact that, before Lashley's departure from WWE in 2008, he was the hand-picked face to lead the future of WWE and even went on to compete in one of the marquee matches WrestleMania 23. This led to a match between the two at Extreme Rules, where Lashley defeated Reigns. The following night on Raw, Lashley defeated Elias and Seth Rollins one of two triple threat matches to determine who would face Universal Champion Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. On the July 23 episode of Raw, he was defeated by Reigns who won the other triple threat match. On the July 30th episode of Raw, he would enter a feud with Elias after he attacked Lashley during their duet only for Lashley to fight him off. A match between the two would be teased over the next several months, but at SummerSlam their feud ended abruptly without any aforementioned payoff. On the September 3rd episode of Raw, during his segment with Jinder Mahal, the returning Kevin Owens attacked Lashley from behind. On the September 17 episode of Raw, he introduced his new manager Elio Rush. On the October 8 episode of Raw, Lashley defeated Owens in a singles match before attacking him post-match, turning Lashley into a heel for the first time in his WWE career. However, Owens would be sidelined with an injury shortly after ending that feud. At Survivor Series, which Team Raw won, Lashley was among the sole survivors along with Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre after Strowman pinned Team SmackDown member Shane McMahon. Afterwards, he reignited his feud with Elias, this included a ladder match with a guitar hanging above the ring at TLC which Lashley lost, but after the match used the guitar on Elias. 
This sparked a miracle on the 34th Street fight type of match between the two in which Lashley was defeated. Intercontinental Championship Reigns, 2019 Present On the January 7, 2019 episode of Raw, Lashley began the show by brawling with Seth Rollins, before reappearing at the end of the night to cost Rollins his Intercontinental Championship match against Dean Ambrose. After the match, Lashley slammed Rollins through a table. The following week on Raw, Lashley won the Intercontinental Championship for the first time in his career, from Ambrose in a triple threat match that also involved Rollins, establishing his first title reign in WWE since June 2007. On January 27 at the Royal Rumble, Lashley entered the Rumble match as the 26th entrant, but was eliminated in 13 seconds by Rollins, after which Lashley viciously attacked Rollins, and subsequently slammed him through the announce table. At Elimination Chamber, he lost the Intercontinental Championship to Finn Balor in a two-on-one handicap match also involving Elio Rush after Rush was pinned, ending his reign at 34 days. After the match, Lashley attacked Rush in frustration. Lashley teamed with Baron Corbin and Drew McIntyre against a recently reunited Shield in a losing effort at Fastlane. The following night on Raw, Lashley defeated Baylor, following interference from Rush, to capture the Intercontinental Championship, thus beginning his second reign. On the March 25th edition of Raw, Lashley teamed with Jinder Mahal to face Finn Baylor in a two-on-one handicap match. Baylor won the match, pinning Mahal, and as per the match stipulation, earned himself an Intercontinental Championship rematch against Lashley for WrestleMania 35, which resulted in Lashley losing the title to Baylor. At the Shield's final chapter, Lashley once again teamed with Corbin and McIntyre to face the Shield in a losing effort. On May 18, 2019 Lashley was announced to face Braun Strowman at Super Showdown. At the event, Lashley faced Strowman in a losing effort. On the July 3rd episode of Raw, Lashley and Strowman had a Falls Count Anywhere match that ended in a no contest when Strowman's shoulder tackled Lashley through the lead board. Following this the two were scheduled for a last man standing match at Extreme Rules 2019, which Lashley lost. Mixed Martial Arts Career Early Career, 2008-2009 Lashley made his Mixed Martial Arts debut at the Mixed Fighting Alliance MFA, inaugural event There Will Be Blood on December 13, 2008 at the American Airlines Arena in Miami, Florida. He won via TKO cut, over Joshua Franklin in 41 seconds of the first round. Lashley's next fight was on March 21, 2009. He was supposed to fight Ken Shamrock, but his opponent was changed to Bellator MMA veteran Jason Gaida after Shamrock tested positive for steroids. Lashley won the fight after a unanimous decision. Lashley signed with the Maximum Fighting Championship and made his debut on May 15 against Mike Cook who made his ring entrance wearing a Rey Mysterio mask, which Lashley took as an insult. He went on to defeat Cook with a guillotine choke just 24 seconds into the first round. On June 27, 2009, Lashley defeated Bob Sapp at the PFP, Ultimate Chaos event in Biloxi, Mississippi. He won the bout via TKO, strikes, in the first round, making Lashley's MMA record 4-0. Strike Force, 2010 2011. He was scheduled to make his Strike Force debut against undefeated heavyweight Shane Del Rosario at Strike Force, Miami, but for unknown reasons, Strike Force decided to change his opponent. Lashley was then expected to face journeyman Jimmy Ambrose on January 30, 2010 at Strike Force, Miami, but that matchup was also scrapped. Lashley wound up facing former UFC fighter Wes Sims at the event. Lashley defeated Sims via first-round TKO victory to remain undefeated. Lashley was expected to fight on April 17, 2010 at Strike Force, Nashville, as the promotion had already submitted an opponent for Lashley and was awaiting approval from the Tennessee Athletic Commission. According to Strike Force CEO Scott Coker, the bout would L.